Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your monthly love tarot reading for what does your love interest secretly want to tell you? Remember this is for couple singles or anyone in between or anyone who needs love messages. And this is general messages so you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. And I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. I do have a free reading contest going on right now. Uh, I will give all the information at the end of this video, so stick with me till the end. I don't want to take up too much of your time because I want to jump right in. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. So the question we're going to ask today, how do they feel about you? What do they need to make this connection work? What do they secretly want to tell you? And what's your advice for this connection? All right, so let's jump right in. We're going to start with the feelings. How does Sagittarius' love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Sagittarius' love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so Sagittarius, they feel like there is a new life here and a great foundation for change. They want to give you a message to let you know the grass isn't always greener on the other side because they're ready to clear the air here. This person, there's something to do with people, family, friends, or the public that they feel is very supportive to the situation. They want to resolve this unfinished business with you, okay? They want to bring it to the harmony into the situation. I feel like they want to just take off that mask and they want to reveal some things to you. They want to bring some things to light here because they feel like, all right, you know, we already have this foundation built here. We can have this new life. We just focus on the change here. I, I feel like this person's like, I'm ready for some kind of huge change here. I've seen the bigger picture and I'm just ready to clear the air and clean this up. Community card for me says, I want to go out with you and or I want to start a family with you or there's something to do with family, friends, or some people involved with this to bring support, to bring this uh, situation to, um, to resolve this situation that's unfinished here, to bring it into harmony. That's what I feel like. Because I feel like these cards are a little bit darker than you come down here. You know, this is like the outcome card for me. It's like... They really want to bring light to things. They want to clear the air. They want it to be uh, uh, brought into harmony. And, you know, there's just, there's a sense of potential there for that. Okay, let's keep going. This person feels like there's been some conflict and chaos and they want a victory or they want your attention here because they know that you're destined to be together. This person wants a decision here because they're regretting about what happened and they know time is running out. They're ready to just go for it and take a leap of faith. And they've been at a crossroads about what to do, what direction to go. They watch you, they observe you, they may watch you from afar, they may spy on you. Uh, they do enjoy their time with you and they, they just want to be with you and they don't want to look at the past. They don't want to focus on the future here. They just want to be with you in this moment. They want to give you a hug. They want you to know that they, that they love you. Because this person does have a sense of regrets here about a decision about this risk where they don't want to regret making this decision and going for it and this is why they're at a crossroads because they're like all right i want to have a victory here i know i need to make a decision but i i'm trying to just look at the bigger picture here before i take this risk there's been arguments here and i'm indecisive here but i know that i just want to enjoy my time with this person because i know that we are destined to be together you know I'm really hopeful about things. All right, let's keep going. What does, and we're gonna use a different card deck this time. What does Sagittarius love interest need to make this connection work? What does Sagittarius love interest make, need to make this connection work? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so they need a sacred connection, romantic gestures. Okay, freedom around chemistry and passion. 
they need to know that this is going to be a part of their life purpose and not distortions when it comes to putting work or effort into this connection. This person needs to have awareness that there's compatibility here and a commitment to balance yin and yang. Okay, so now let's look at what do they secretly want to tell you? What is Sagittarius' love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What is Sagittarius' love interest? Secretly want to tell Sagittarius. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Obviously, you want to come out. What's that? Okay, so King of Pentacles. Wisdom. Uh, a family person. A uh, person who has been through it and they know how to take a leadership role when it comes to um, long-term commitments for a sense of completion of a cycle when it comes to an opportunity. Not focusing on loss or a sense of regrets, but moving towards this passions. Okay, what does Sagittarius is? Love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What does Sagittarius love interest secretly want to tell Sagittarius? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got Five of Wands, Temperance, King of Swords, the Death card energy, the Nine of Pentacles energy, the Three of Swords energy, the Ten of Pentacles energy, the Six of Cups energy, the Tower card energy. Oh my goodness. All right, let's use these cards, actually. What does Sagittarius, this love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, secret love to tell Sagittarius, show me the cards I need to see, show me the cards I need to see. That's interesting. Interesting. Oof, okay. What, you know what, I'm gonna use these cards over here. What does Sagittarius's love interest secretly wanna tell Sagittarius? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There is a lot of friggin' tower shocky kind of cards in your reading, that's for sure. My goodness. All right. Let's come to the, the central of the reading, okay? What do they secretly want to tell you? Well, I feel like Nine of Pentacles is saying self-focus, single and available to pursue. They want to tell you that they are single and available to pursue. Why do I say that? or they want you to be single and available to pursue because temperance is above it. So they're being patient for things to come into balance, right? Because something isn't an equal give and take, so they need this to come into balance. So that you can be single and available to pursue because there's something coming up pertaining to the past. Six of Cups energy, reminiscing about the past, someone from the past. There's arguments and disputes happening here or competition where they're trying to be patient for things to be brought into balance. King of Swords tells me they're using their logic and they're trying to play politics here, okay? This person's like, all right, something needs to end here. They want to tell you that something needs to end here so they can have a new opportunity so that you're single and available to pursue because there's a sense of heartache here and a sense of longing. So they are having heartache and longing or because of this, they are concerned about a third party situation. We see that family and long-term commitment here. They want family and long-term commitment and they're reminiscing about things pertaining to the past. Six of Cups energy, which really shocked and surprised them. There's arguments and disputes about family that shocked them, so they're trying to be wise about this. They're being patient for things to come to an end first before reminiscing about the past when it comes to heartache. Mm -hmm. This person wants to give some communication to you about a reconciliation and take charge of things to be victorious. They want things to move in their favor, momentum to be on their side when it comes to a commitment because there is something to do with an ex-partner here 
and strong obsessions and strong attachments. There's something to do with a reconciliation, zombies cards coming out, somebody from the past, and something to do with feeling like they're being attacked, feeling like they're overwhelmed by a sense of abundance because of a friend, doll card energy, or loyalty towards something secret here when it comes to romance that really shocked and surprised them. It took them by surprise. Let's pull one more card on that. And gave them a sense of loss of regret when it came to kiss and make up. When it came to a breakup. And we go further, if they lay a little bit more on here, Sagittarius, communication, they want to communicate with you these obsessions because of a soulmate connection. They do love you. They don't want to get hurt. If they take these romantic gestures to put the work or effort into this. And they lack the courage and confidence because of the wisdom of the past when it came to love, which is giving them the defeated energy. Should I stand up and fight or should I walk away from the situation? And going further down, they have romantic feelings for you, Sagittarius, and they're hoping that you're single and available to pursue because they do miss you. But they're at a crossroads, like, what do I do here? I need to make a decision when it comes to new love. But I have uncertainty of whether Sagittarius actually feels the same as I do. And it's causing delays and challenges in this connection because they can't be honest about communication when it comes to stress and anxiety. All right, let's get you some advice now. Can I have some advice from Sagittarius's for the highest best good when it comes to this love connection? Can I have some advice from my Sagittarius's when it comes to this love connection for the highest best good? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius, they're saying that you need to have the strength and the courage and the confidence here. Because of family and long-term commitment. So almost like I feel like in this card, things need to be brought into balance. And, and also this person, this woman, is trying to, to grab the lion's mouth to bring control around the situation. But you need to focus on what's going to make you happy with the sun card energy. So have the strength to look at the long term and what's going to make you happy. Page of Swords is like, it's time to see this from a new way and a new perspective. And then this person's like, Let's just see how this plays out here. Let's invest some time in this situation and be patient when it comes to this communication or not moving too fast on this. Because something needs to be come to a completion first. A cycle needs to be completed first and a choice needs to be made with the heart. Otherwise, whatever is going to be offered won't be accepted with the Four of Cups energy or you won't miss an opportunity here if you make the choice with the heart and focus on what makes you happy. All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, as far as the free reading goes, guys, um, it's free to enter, free to get involved. All you have to do is put Soulmate in the comments below. I will be announcing this in sometime in June. I will be announcing for three people for a free reading. My readings are closed at the moment until August, so I still want to give back to you guys because I love you guys and I really appreciate all of your support. And by the way, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Um, the next reading that's coming out for you guys in the next day or two is the solar eclipse for June 10th, so stay tuned for that. Obviously, that's coming up very quickly. And also, uh, your weeklies, your monthlies, your bi-weeklies, they're all up and available for you to watch for your sign right now. You can go check it out on the playlist. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your month, and I'll see you soon.